Sir Gus, Unit 5. Here is the table of contents. Sorry, I knocked my phone over. Introduction, Sir Gus and his stuff. Chapter 1, The Beginning. I wonder which one is Sir Gus. Sir Gus and his stuff. This reader tells the tale of Sir Gus, a knight. In the past, there really were knights like Sir Gus. Knights helped kings and queens keep their lands safe. Here are some of the things a knight would have used. There is Sir Gus in the middle. Look at this diagram. He has a lance, a spear, a sword, and a shield. Knights rode on horses and helped defend castles. Here is a picture of a knight. Here is a castle. And there is Sir Gus. The beginning. Long before you were born, in a place we can no longer find, there was a king. King Alfred was his name. King Alfred was in charge of a large land that stretched from the dark forest of the north to the sea in the south. The people of this land were very happy with him as their king. King Alfred liked to have fun. He liked parties and feasts. He was fair and kind, and he kept his people safe. This must be the king because he's wearing the crown and a robe. King Alfred could not do all this by himself. He had 12 knights to help him keep his lands peaceful and his people safe. These brave knights, well, sometimes they were brave, helped to keep bad things from happening. There must be his knights. Because there is King Alfred, and that looks like the picture of Sir Gus. The most well-known knight of all was Sir Gus the Fearless. The king himself had given Sir Gus the name Fearless. This was an odd name, for Sir Gus was not entirely fearless. In fact, he had a lot of fears. Sir Gus was scared of the dark. He was scared of mice and bats and spiders. He did not like boats, and he could not swim. Shadows and loud noises made him faint. In fact, lots of things made Sir Gus faint. Sir Gus had all the things a knight must have. He had a shield and a lance. He had a spear and a sword. But Sir Gus liked a long soak in the bathtub better than a fight. There's Sir Gus again. He's wearing his armor. Cats and horses made Sir Gus itch. Sometimes the itching was so bad that he would start jumping up and down. Sir Gus was rather absent-minded. He got lost a lot and could rarely tell which way to go. Sir Gus found it difficult to get up in the morning. He liked to sleep in. So he was late most of the time. All in all, Sir Gus was a rather odd knight, but King Alfred did not see this. What he saw was that Sir Gus always served him well.